Joining us now are members of the Delta State Statesman football team. With us in the center of the podium is head coach Todd Cooley. Beginning on the far left of the podium is Travis Champion. Travis is a junior quarterback from Moreno Valley, California. Next to him is Richard Nash. Richard is a junior defensive back from Macon, Georgia. And on the near side of the podium is Casey Osborne. Casey is a sophomore wide receiver from Flowery Branch, Georgia. Coach, first, your, uh, your impressions on the football game. Uh, I was, uh, got to play better. You know, um, you can't give a good, good commerce team as many chances as we did tonight. I'm definitely proud of our football team. I think um, when you look at the stats, the chances that we had, the mistakes that we made, which uh, Commerce had a lot to do with that. They're a good football team. I think Coach Cardell is doing a great job there. Um, but for us to still be in this football game is a positive I'm going to draw on. Uh, we've just got to eliminate the mistakes. Obviously, I was proud of our team. They kept playing hard. They played to the very final whistle. Uh, when the horn blew, we were still in the game, and um, I was proud of that. Uh, but we know that if we can just clean up clean up our self-inflicted wounds, so to speak, uh, I think that we're going to have a, a, a very tough football team. Any questions for the statesman? Coach, uh, y'all really dominated the third quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, A&M Commerce had just one first down, and that was at the tail end of that quarter, uh, moving the ball real efficiently throughout the quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the difference between that and the other parts of the game where y'all were not as successful? I just think that uh, – I don't know. Uh, I think we're a second-half football team. I think our guys, it took them a little time to get into the rhythm of the game. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that we had that turnover to start the second half. Uh, that, was a, that was a big blow there. Um, but uh, I just think our conditioning, we feel like when we get somebody to the second half, when we start sustaining some drives, our conditioning is going to be a factor. And I think that's um, – Champ and them were out there. They would probably be a better question for them. But that's what I felt from the sideline, that they were getting a little tired and we weren't. Um, you know, but I think that was the reason. Travis, question uh, for you. 31 of 40 passing, 265 yards. That was part of a total offense of 451. You guys moved the ball up and down the field, scored 37 points, which I have a feeling normally wins a game for you. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, usually that wins a game, but, you know, we did play a tough football team today, and, um, you know, we saw they were tough. They looked tough on film. And, exactly what they were and um, like coach said we just have to you know uh, minimize our mistakes and you know uh, finish drives you know uh, we'd rather like touchdowns and field goals and um, just keep our percent of error down more questions for the statesman uh, Richard defensive back uh, commerce passed the ball pretty successfully 365 yards talked about uh, either the difficulties or, or what you encountered against them? Uh, we knew coming in we would play a great offensive team, very, had some very athletic guys, especially at the quarterback position. We knew he would uh, keep plays alive. That hurt us. Uh, he hurt us with his feet, uh, scrambling out of the pocket and hitting guys deep, rolling uh, to both sides. Um, so, I mean, that's basically what it was. He, uh, we knew we were facing a great athletic quarterback, and they had a lot of guys who can go up and get the ball and make uh, short catches, and that's what they did. So we'll uh, watch the film, learn from it, and uh, get ready for the next game. Let's come down this way to Casey. You were on the uh, other end of a lot of Travis's passes. You had nine receptions, 68 yards, and a touchdown. Talk a little bit about your game and uh, the offense. I mean, I can – do none of it without Champ and the offensive line, you know, protecting him to let him get the ball out. And also my fellow receivers who run routes to help get me open also. And, you know, that's all I can say about that. Let's just, uh, Coach, start with you. The, the opportunity and, and the atmosphere of playing here at AT&T Stadium, a little different than what we normally encounter in our, our home facilities. It is. It is. This is a great deal. Uh, you know, this was a great experience for our players. Uh, obviously, we wanted to come out on top, but uh, it was a great experience for our players, our fans. I thought it was ran first class. I appreciate uh, the professionalism and how everybody did things. And, uh, you know, it's something we're not going to forget. Unfortunately, uh, we're always going to have that uh, kind of that asterisk by it from a uh, better taste in our mouths from losing the game. But, um, you know, it was first class. Uh, 
and everything with the trip was great. I thought our young men handled the trip great. I was proud of them in that, and uh, they've got some memories, and uh, they've got some pictures and memories they'll be able to show their grandkids one of these days and uh, be able to say they played here. It's a phenomenal facility, and uh, I think the Lone Star Conference did an excellent job running it. Any more questions for the uh, Delta State? Coach, the self-inflicted wounds, what would you, what, what all was that? The turnovers. Our defense was sitting on the sideline drinking water, and they scored three touchdowns. That's uh, that's not good, and uh, that hurt us. We've got uh, Travis alluded to the percentage of error. We've got to have a better job of taking care of the football. We've got to do a better job of um, just making uh, punching it in the red zone. You know, I thought we had a couple of chances there with about 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. We had back-to-back -back chance. We actually created a turnover. They. Uh, dropped the exchange. We were right there, and um, you know you got to cash that in. It was like, man, we get another chance, and, and we didn't. You know, we went backwards, and that's a credit to their defense. I thought they did a great job with us against us. Uh, I was very proud of these guys up here. I'm, I'm proud of our football team. I'm just uh, we're upset because we know what we're capable of when we take care of the football. Those are self-inflicted wounds. We always talk about controlling what we can control, and we can control taking care of the football. We can control down in the punt. When it's rolling right there, we're trying to squeeze an extra couple yards. Great play by their returner. He takes it to the house. I mean, that's ridiculous. That, that, that's on us. I mean, just to be honest with you. I mean, that, we've got to be better there. And we will be. Uh, we still got a young football team, but uh, we challenge them to hold together this week and bounce back against a good North Alabama team when we open up conference next week. And, you know, the thing I'll say about this football team, they, got, they do have a lot of character. And uh, they're going to bounce back and they're going to stay together because that's what they do. And we draw a lot of strength from each other. I draw a lot of strength from them. I think they draw a little strength from me in that in that respect. But uh, we will we will learn from this. And it's a tough it's a tough lesson to learn. But you got to get beat sometimes to learn those lessons. And to look at the stat sheet, you want out on a lot of the stats. So what does that tell you? What they're at least capable of doing? And we know we know what we're capable of doing when we take care of the football. We know what we're capable of doing when we play disciplined football the way we're supposed to play it. And um, you know we can't. Can't keep going backwards, you know. The gentleman right here talked about the third quarter. I mean, that was a great quarter, but we still gave up a touchdown with our defense over there drinking water. I mean, we ain't got people ain't got back from concession stand yet, and they've already scored a touchdown on us. I mean, can't do that. Can't win. Can't beat a good football team. They're a good football team. They are, and uh, my hat goes off to them and uh, what they've done. But uh, I think we're a good football team too. We just got to clean up the mistakes. Being only the second game of the season, you're still learning plenty about your team. What did you learn tonight? I learned that if we play well and we, we take care of the football, we can be pretty dangerous because we do have some exciting players. I'm sitting with three of them right here that can make plays. Um, we, we can do some things offensively and defensively. We had six sacks tonight defensively, which was a big improvement from last week. But we have to take care of the things we can control, and that's the football. we got to take care of that football. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you all. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Thank you.